Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be an all drugstore look. I have Revlon Skin Caring Foundation. I have a new L'Oreal mascara. I have a NYX lip liner, a Physicians Formula blush and powder. What else? Oh, and a new brow product that I really like. So I hope that you stick with me. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meekle. I'm 52 years old. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist, and I dip into fashion a little bit. And I'm hoping to help you guys out. We're all aging. Our skin is changing. I'm really becoming a rhymer. <laughs> and a lot of us are on a budget. So I hope that this helps you out. For reference, my skin is considered to be normal to dry. And obviously I have texture, I'm 52. Before we go on, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you like the video, be sure to hit the like button. It helps the algorithm know that Maybe you guys like my videos and it will help my channel be seen. All the products that I use today are going to be listed in the description box for you. They are commissionable links. If you use my links, it provides me with a small commission and I put that back into the channel. So I purchased new makeup so that I have all the latest news and reviews for you. If you do use them, thank you so much. No pressure at all though. I'm just happy you're here and uh, yeah, let's get on with the video. I have a couple new foundations in front of me and I'm not sure which one I wanna try. I am excited about this one. This is, well, I'm excited about all of them. This is the CoverGirl Simply Ages Skin Perfector Essence. It's a Hydro Fresh Tint. It has these little capsules in the formulation and when you break it up, it blends. So I'm hoping that I got the right color. It's always tricky. And I don't think I did. Oh no, that's too light. Oh, I got light. Mm. Well, there goes that idea. Oh, I hate that when that happens. I didn't have my glasses on when I went shopping. I really have to start bringing my glasses when I shop. I'm not used to that. Usually I can stretch it out far enough away from me that I can figure it out, but I couldn't this day. Oh, darn. Rather than going to wash my whole face off, I wiped it off and I used my Aven spring water. This is the thermal spring water. I love it. It helps me remove enough that I can start fresh. I wouldn't rely on that completely to go to bed, but it works for now. Okay, which one's gonna match me better? This is the Revlon Skin Caring Foundation, and I got it in the color 213. I don't know, I hope it matches. I have to prep my skin actually. One day, I'm going to plan out a video and I'm gonna have it set out all in front of me so it goes nice and smooth and I don't end up with mistakes. Every video I get a little confused. My kids were here this week. Lexi was home and usually when Lindsay, that's my oldest, when she comes over, if there's anything in my closet that I think she might like that I just rarely use, I hand it over to her. But Lexi's been out of the house since she was 18 years old. She lives in Brooklyn and she doesn't have the access to my gifting. So when she came home, anything that she could use, I'm like, here, take this, here, take this, here, take this. Well, I don't think I have any lip balm left. <laughs> I think I gave it to her. Her bag was so much heavier when she went to the airport today, she had to pay for extra to get it on the flight. Yeah, it felt good to have her home. What color did I say this was again? 213. Yeah, I feel like that's a good one. I'm gonna try to make this video mostly drugstore. I have been purchasing a lot. I've had some bad luck. My blush broke on the way home. I've had that happen with my CoverGirl eyeshadow. Sometimes the packaging is worth it too, you know? I never have that happen with my higher end products. This looks so pretty. The color match is really good. I thought for sure that that was not gonna work. Well, maybe I'm getting better at judging. A lot of people ask me how to apply a foundation if it's better to use a brush or a sponge. I did use a sponge the other day with my MAC Studio Radiance Serum Foundation, is that the name of it? It was really nice. I'm gonna try in 2024 to maybe do one side with a brush and one side with a sponge sometimes to show you. I love my BK Beauty 101 brush. This one's nice, stiff and dense. This one's stiffer and denser. It's not sucking up the product like a sponge would, if that makes sense. I don't ever have to rebuy these. Sponges, I have to repurchase and that's costly. So I just tend to use brushes more. Doesn't mean I don't like a sponge though, so it's up to you. I have to tint my eyelashes soon. I'm feeling very pale. Did I get a concealer? Oh, I did get a concealer from the drugstore and I have a feeling it might be too light. I got the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Concealer. 
This says it lasts for 30 hours. I'm not sure about that. And I'm not gonna test that out tonight because it is nighttime. I don't know why I like filming at night. I've always been a night owl, not really a morning person. Well, I can be a morning person. Lately, I've been sleeping in though. I got this in color 10. It's a very thin consistency. I really make sure to get right in here. I find if I can get nice and light in here, it brightens me right up. It makes my eyes look a little bit bigger. Maybe just a little bit there and a little bit there. My lips are so dry. Oh yeah, and Lexi, when she was home, she helped me with my lighting. She switched out my editing program that I use. I'm nervous, now I have to learn a whole new editing program. I do know that it's better. I usually use Final Cut Pro, which is an Apple product. She was trying to help me and she kept getting mad like, why are you using this system? Premiere would never do this, so bear with me. I don't know, I'm really trying to get a lot of YouTube videos up more in the new year, but it might take me a little bit to learn this program, I'm not sure. I'm hoping the quality will be even better though, that's the whole plan. That is really nice. And I don't find that that's too light. So that's a number 10. Hmm. Two winners, yay. I have a new powder. I wanna try this. This is a Physician's Formula Press Powder and I got it in translucent. So I'll be using this one as well, but I'm not ready for that one yet. I have this one. This is the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Bronzer. This is a soft matte bronzer and I picked it up in light medium. I think I will powder first then because I don't want this to grab. My skin still feels moist. It feels really soft. Does it have a shimmer? Nope, it feels silky. Let me do a full swatch on my hand for you. And it smells like a holiday. <laughs> Perfect. So just lightly tapping. I use the point in the beginning and I lightly touch it where I want it to go. And I don't go lower than this point, but as I start blending, I can push just a little bit harder. This is a BK Beauty 104. I wasn't sure about this the first time I tried it. I kind of felt it was a little bit yellow. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. I actually like it this time. Maybe it was my lighting, it could have been. Just warming up my forehead, making sure to get right in here. And this is where you really want to evaluate what your body looks like. A lot of us have a little bit of a lighter neck and a darker chest. That would be a great time to take your bronzing brush and dust it all over, kind of blending it in and pulling it all together. If you don't have that issue, don't worry about it. How is everybody's Christmas? I would love to know. It's always a delicate topic because sometimes I don't know for one if you celebrate Christmas. I also don't wanna assume that everybody has family to join at Christmas. I used to live far away from my family and there were so many times where I was left alone. I used to live in the US and our Canadian Thanksgiving is different than the American Thanksgiving. So there were a lot of times when there'd be celebrations going on around me and I didn't have anybody. So I don't wanna assume that everybody has somebody. I hope you did and that you got to spend time with your loved ones. And if not, I know that's hard. And I hope you just found some way to enjoy it. And I'm sending you all my positive love and light. I know it's hard when you move away or I know it's hard when you've lost people that you love or your loved ones moved away from you. You know, I was very lucky to have everybody together, but I know that's not always gonna be the case. I'm gonna still try this. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush and I got Saucy Mauve and it is so broken. <gasps> yeah, damn. Our drugstore is awful for returns too. And that's gonna be a really pretty color. I wonder if I can fix that with some alcohol. I bet you I can. Oh well. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip my brush into this product, but then I'm gonna pat it on the back of my hand and really disperse it evenly into the brush because otherwise I'm gonna get chunks on my brush and I'm gonna end up with big problems. This has a little bit of a glow to it. This reminds me of the Hourglass blushes, except for the packaging. Packaging is so much better on the Hourglass. 
oh, I really have to fix this. Unless I make it really dusty and make it a loose powder. It could be a loose blush. All right, I'm going to do my eyebrows first. I have CoverGirl. I have Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil. CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. Oh, this is a brow pen. Okay, and this is the Easy Breezy Brow Micro Fine and Define Pencil. I have so much. I'm gonna try the pen. Let's test this out. I purchased this in Soft Blonde. I normally don't buy blonde. I normally buy like a soft brown or a caramel or like a taupe. We'll see what this looks like. I have such a struggle with pain in my butt. I've been researching other ways. Like I go for cortisone shots, but I know that's not healthy. I found a video that said that I have to make sure that I activate my glute muscles and my lower abdominal muscles. They may be strong, but I guess my body forgot how to activate them. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm hoping that that's it. So before this video, I was on the floor squeezing my butt muscles together, trying to activate those muscles. But I have to tell you, it hurts so bad to sit here. It hurts so bad in general, like there's no escaping the pain to the point where I have to take some strong pain medication sometimes, and I hate that. I'll let you know how that goes. One summer, actually two summers, I was legit in bed, like lying down. I didn't even get to take the dogs for a walk for most of the summer because I was out with this pain. Whatever it is that it's doing is causing problems with my sciatic nerve. It hurts so bad. Anyone else have that issue? It's one of those things, you know, ever since I've been dealing with health issues, I don't trust everybody. And it's not that I don't trust that they're trying their best. It's not that. It's that they're only human and they know what they know. And they maybe don't know what they don't know, you know? <laughs> So I'm constantly searching for solutions and not just going with what one or two doctors say to me. That is looking really good. I'm happy with this. I love the color. I love the applicator. It's not too wet. It's allowing me to do nice, light, natural brush strokes. Yay. When you're working on the side that's not your strong side, like I'm right-handed, this is my right side. So this eye is much easier. Oftentimes I will just put the product in my fingers like this and turn it around. So I'm holding it like this. Might just make you feel like you have more control rather than, you know, doing this. Like it hurts. It hurts my forearm and it hurts my wrist. So loosen it up a little bit. <laughs> and yeah, then it's just like holding your hand in a much more natural position. I have that one surprised eyebrow that's so much higher than the other one. I give you a different expression. This side, very relaxed, calm. This side, what did everybody get for Christmas? Can we talk about Christmas presents for a minute? My goodness, the pressure that people put themselves under. It's hard to watch and I put it on myself. I see my kids putting it on themselves. And this year I had said to my kids, like, I don't want anything. And we usually do pick names, but you know, they're starting out in life and they don't have the finances. They're saving and everything's so expensive. And I don't want to see them do without because they feel they have to buy somebody a present. And my one daughter was saying, I don't know. I feel like I didn't get enough. Actually, two of my daughters were like that. I wish Christmas was like Thanksgiving where everybody just got together and didn't worry about gifts. Because if I want something, I'll buy it. To me, the biggest gift that you can give me is time. And my kids all know that. I just want their time. And if they can't make it to be in front of my face or in my presence, FaceTime me. It never has had to be a physical gift, nor will it ever have to be a physical gift. But at the same time, I love giving gifts. So when I said to everybody, no gift giving this year between the kids, we got the kids gifts. I felt that they were a little disappointed too because of course that's half the joy is giving the gift, but we can give a gift any time of the year. It doesn't have to be Christmas, you know? It doesn't have to be a forced occasion for us to receive a gift. Those are my thoughts. I remember one year I was so broke. We lived in Staten Island and I had two young children. They're 16 months apart. I couldn't legally work and of course I had two young children anyways, but even if I wanted to work or had to work, if I could have worked, I probably would have because we were broke. My ex-husband was starting his career and our rent was so high and having two young children on a one person income with student loans to pay off. So one year 
I loved painting. I just thought this was so special. I, <laughs> I painted Aladdin and yeah, I painted Aladdin and Jasmine on a carpet. I think it was that. And I painted it on a little canvas and I gave it to my niece. And I'm looking back at that visual that I have now and I'm sure she was thinking, oh, oh, that thanks. <laughs> I don't know, like I just couldn't afford anything else. Oh, I did. I got that blush all over my pink chair. No, oh no. This pink chair is no longer pink. I should always have a towel there. I did have a towel there. I don't know what happened. I hope that brow product doesn't dry out fast because I really like it. Um, I'm gonna do a really simple eye because this is more about the skin today. I think I'm just gonna use the bronzer. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Keep it really simple. I'm using a stiffer brush in the same bronzer, it's gonna give me a different color because I'm using a stiffer brush. If I used a light fluffy brush, it would look more like my cheeks. The brushes I'm using are not drugstore, by the way. I don't have a ton. I should try more, but I do have a hard time spending money on that because I love them so much. This is a Refer 32, and the end has an angle, and it's dense. So I can put the angle like this, and it sits exactly where I need it to go. I'm lazy, I didn't even put an eye primer on. I would if I were going out all day and I wanted this to stay, I definitely would. And let's see if I can even cheat and only use one brush. Wouldn't that be great? No, I need to. So use the BK Beauty 209. This is a really nice smudge brush. Same color, same bronzer. Really dragging that underneath, connecting the two. Okay, and I have some new mascaras to try. Again, I have a lot. <laughs> I picked up the Voluminous Panorama Corner to Corner Panorama Volume. It has multi-level bristles. I got it in the blackest black, and it claims to give you up to 1.4 times bigger eye look. All right, let's go. Let me curl my lashes. I like trying a new mascara on with not a lot of eyeshadow, because then you can really see did you guys see me trying the Thrive Cosmetics mascara? Oh, that's nice. I finally tried it. My sister-in-law gave it to me for Christmas. Really pretty. I have a rogue lash. Get back there. And I messed up every time. <laughs> like I know my eyes are drooping, but I didn't think that they were drooping that much. The brush is nice. Grabs the lashes. I would say it's more lengthening than it is volumizing, but this is only the first coat. What's it claiming? 11 times more volumized, multi-level, inner and outer rim have been, okay, huh. That's pretty. I've got one wild one. Look at these lashes, get back. They have a mind of their own. So the brush isn't so pokey. Sometimes these, what is it, silicone? Sometimes these brushes kind of poke me in the eye like benefit they're real. I've hurt myself with those brushes. I love the look, but honestly, I've almost poked my eye out so many times. I'm not finding that with this one. Yeah, it's actually comfortable to use. And I do like that the brush goes narrow at the top. So then I can get in where I have less space and less hair. I will do a second coat. I never let my first coat dry completely. I find if I do, it really gets clumpy. So I wanna build on top of a slightly damp mascara. I'm not sure if that's the right way to do it. It's the way I've always done it. And I like the result. That one must be getting ready to fall out soon. I almost just wish it would come out. There's the volume. I'm actually gonna go in with an empty spoolie and just see if I can get this to look a little bit less clumpy. Not that I mind clump, I really don't. I am not afraid to look like I have a lot of mascara on. I actually like that look. But that just cleaned it up a little bit. 
If you want more of a natural look, just put the one coat on because I think that looks really natural and light. It may change as it ages. Sometimes when mascaras have been open a little bit, they dry out and you'll get more of a full coat right in the beginning. That's oftentimes why I like a mascara that's a little bit old. But this one, I like right from the beginning. Now, I won't be able to tell you if it flakes because it is nighttime, but I will continue to use it and I'll let you know how it goes. This year, I'm gonna be more organized with the products that I test out and then at the end of the month telling you, do I still feel the same? Is it good? Is it not good? I like that because, you know, I may change my mind on products. I may have learned something new as I've continued to try it. So I do plan on getting better, I promise. So as I've gotten older, a lot of people talk about, you know, we get those kind of coarse chin hairs as we've gotten older. And I have gotten a few of those, but I also have one growing in right here. Can you see that? Yeah, I can feel it. I wanna get that out so bad, but even when I pull it, it still leaves a mark. It's like it's so coarse, it leaves a hole. So my daughter, she's had kind of a tough go. She went to New York, went to New York Film Academy for production and acting. She worked right away when she got out of school, saved her money, moved out to an apartment, and things aren't cheap in New York, and 2020 hit. So she was isolated with no money. She had money, but she had to go through the money because she couldn't get a job, right? She couldn't work. And luckily, she had one friend. Everybody was so scared. She was scared. And then when everything started getting back to normal, come on, you sucker. Oh, I think I got it. The writer's strike happened and the actor's strike. And she doesn't work on a lot of productions like that anyways, but everything just slowed down, partly because everybody was supporting the writers and the actors, right? So production started slowing down and there were other events in her life that caused her a lot of stress. Not only that, two of her good friends in New York are, are Israeli. So she's reminded, not surrounded, but she's reminded of some bad things that are going on in the world. Luckily, she has a really great partner who I believe is a positive energy in her life, thank goodness. But you know, there's nothing like family. And when she came here, I could feel the stress still. You know, not, not a ton, but I could feel it. And she spent, I think, six days here. I could see the child in her come out. That made me really happy. I know that there's a lot of stuff going on in the world. I know that. But I promise you, there is a lot more good than there is bad. I promise. I think what we need to do in 2024 is send love and light to all of those people that are hurting. Pray for peace. Pray for solutions. Pray for people to rise above the hate because honestly, there's no reason to hate. Everybody has their own personal trauma, their own personal experience of why they think the way they think. I know that there's bad energy in the world. I know that. But if we can all stay positive and if we can all just love everybody and not pass judgment, I see people watch the news and just let it get them so angry and so down and sad and scared. I think fear is what creates hate. I don't know because honestly, I don't hate anybody. Even people who have hurt me in my past, I don't hate them. I look at those situations in my life and I think, okay, that taught me something. And I also think about that person who hurt me and think, well, what was their hurt? Why did they become that person that hurt me? Probably they were hurt somewhere along the line. So if we understand that, if we understand that we're all just human and nobody really knows the internal experience somebody's having and have some compassion and the curiosity, that's what it is. The curiosity to learn why somebody feels so strongly about what they feel and just send them love and send them healing vibes and healing light. I really do believe that everything is gonna be okay. And that probably sounds very naive especially for those who have people that are really hurting or who even have passed on from horrible events. I'm not naive, but I think negative things that have happened to me in the past, they're not near what has happened to other people in their past or what's happening right now, but I still could have chosen to hate who hurt me. And I can tell you that if I had have sat in the hate, I would be sick. I would be miserable. The person that I hate won't be miserable. It would be me that would be sick and negative and wasting my life on hating somebody that doesn't care about me. So I'm getting on a tangent. I just think it's really important. Like I'll give you an example. I asked whoever is listening, God, 
the universe, I don't care what you call it. The positive energy that's out there that may answer my prayers doesn't matter to me what it's called. When I opened my studio, I said, I want women who are like-minded, who love women, who wanna support women, who aren't angry, who are trying to be better people, and who enjoy seeing other people better themselves. That's what I wanted. I wanted positive women around me. And before clients would come into my space, I would literally say a little prayer, again, to whoever's listening. I would stand in the middle of my room and I would pray, let me say the things that my client needs to hear today. Oh, this is becoming into a story time and I've stopped doing makeup. So one client came in and I've known this girl for a long time, not overly well, we were just friendly with each other. And she came in, every time she would talk to me and it was kind of these lighthearted questions, I just couldn't get the answers out, I couldn't speak properly. Oh, I found a lip liner and I was dropping things. When I would try to speak, I would stutter and I would just lose my train of thought. And I go, what were we talking about? What was the question you asked me? I was doing her hair and finally I stopped and I said, I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm off today. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not finding my words. I can't seem to focus on your questions and I don't know, something's wrong. Anyway, we kept going and then we started talking about something that was happening to her at work. She was having a problem with her boss. All of a sudden, the conversation flew. We were talking and we were having a real conversation. It wasn't small talk. It wasn't like, hey, how are the kids? Or how are you managing COVID? This was during COVID times. And it was a meaningful conversation. She needed to vent and I really enjoyed listening to her issues. And together, her and I talking really came up with some good solutions. And well, you know, maybe this, I don't even remember the situation. She's a very spiritual girl. As we were talking, I was saying, isn't that funny? Like I literally could not speak. And it's almost like as soon as we started talking about what we were meant to talk about, it was easy. And we both, at the same time, we both got chills so bad. And she felt better and I felt better and there was no more block in my speech and there was no more awkward silence. And I mean, we could have talked forever. She sat after her hair was done and we talked, I don't even know for how much longer we sat and talked. Anyway, so that's what I asked for. I asked for that environment in my studio. By the way, this is a NYX pencil. It's the NYX Professional Makeup Line Loud Lip Pencil in Fierce Flirt. Fast forward. Oh, this is gonna be really light. This is too light for me, but I'll show you what I would do to boost this up. When I started to post TikTok videos, I asked for the same thing. I asked for like-minded women, I wanted a community of supportive, loving women that wanted to boost each other up, to not drag anyone down, to love each other for who they were. I wanted to connect and hopefully make somebody feel better about themselves. And if anyone came into my comments with negativity, I didn't hate on them, I wasn't mad at them. And I would respond to them in a loving way. And when I did that, they usually would say, thanks for taking the time to explain that. I never thought of it that way. Or they would just go away and stay out of my comments. So if you look in my comments section and my TikToks and in my Instagram on YouTube, I don't have any negativity. I don't have it. I asked for positive and I have been receiving positive. And I believe it's that simple. This actually isn't bad. At one point, I had a bunch of men on my videos in the comments, and I didn't want that either. So the videos that were getting the men's attention, I hid them from my YouTube, which took away from my views, but I didn't want those views. I wanted women. So to me, it didn't matter how slow it went. It, it didn't matter if it put a bump in my road. I knew that the women were out there that I wanted to connect with, and you're coming. You know, we're getting together. It's that whole thing about manifesting. It works. It may not work right away, but it will work. You just keep pushing through. You keep telling yourself good things are gonna happen and good things are gonna happen. I've had a lot of bad things happen, but I've always known something good will come out of it. I always have known that, always. I need to get a lip gloss, hold on. I activated my cheek muscles when I walked. All right, so my girlfriend invited me to a girl's brunch and she had this lip gloss in a bowl for everyone to take home. She got it off of Amazon. This is by Ruby Kisses and it's a hydrating lip oil. Everybody looks so shiny. I thought it was so pretty. That is so pretty. It reminds me of the lip gloss from MAC, but it's not as sticky. It's not not sticky, but it's not as sticky. 
I think I'm done. Now that I'm done my makeup and I'm in story time, I'll give you a couple of examples and then I'll let you go. When my ex-husband and I decided to split up, I gave myself time to be scared. I gave myself time to be sad, but not that long. This happened in September and by February, I joined a sports and social club to start living. I loved sports. I wasn't looking for a date. I just wanted to get around with like-minded people. So I chose something that I knew I loved and I met some wonderful people and they treated my kids wonderful. And I wasn't scared because I just knew everything was gonna be okay. I was broke. I wasn't legally allowed to work in the States. I was 100% reliant on my ex-husband who I was separating from and I won't go into the details of that mess. I could have been really scared. I could have been paralyzed by fear and anger and sadness but I chose to believe that everything was gonna be okay. And it was, everything turned out okay. I've had health issues since 2010 and there have been really low moments, really low moments. And it's taken a lot away from me, but it's also given me a lot of gifts. One time I went for a tarot card reading and I asked him about my health. Usually when I ask about that, they're like, yeah, I don't see you going to the gym. I see you doing some yoga stretches. <laughs> maybe some short walks around the house. <laughs> that's typically what they say. They don't really see me getting back out into the big swing of things. And that's okay. When I asked him about my health and I, I said, yeah, I I'm, haven't really had good luck. And he said, sometimes the most spiritual people are the people that are forced to be still. My old neighbor was a spiritual healer, I would say. She would have sessions with people and heal their chakras and um, I don't know how to explain her really. And she really helped me a lot. And one time she asked me, are you angry? Are you angry that you got sick? And I said, no. I feel like I was always a compassionate person, but I'm a much more compassionate person now. And I'm grateful for that. Even though I've had health issues, I've been given a gift. I can put myself in other people's shoes and understand what they're going through and not judge people. Like I might've been that person that looked at somebody ahead of me that was walking slow, who looked perfectly fine and think to myself, what's your problem? Why don't you hurry up? And now I know, now I know because I look fine. I don't often look sick, but I have been that person that can't walk fast. So now I know there have been times in my life that I should not have driven and I made big mistakes and I'm lucky we're all alive. So when I see somebody make a mistake when they're driving, I wonder what kind of day they had. I don't judge them, I forgive them, and I hope they have a better day. Not being able to work outside the home has been a really hard thing to deal with, but I've been able to be there for my children. I have four kids. At one point or another, each day was a different day. Each child had a different emotion a different situation that maybe needed some attention. And I was there to give them that attention, not in a physical way, but in an emotional way, I was able to be there for them. Do I wish I could have taken them places? Do I wish I could have taken them hiking and for bike rides? Absolutely. That I'm sad about, that that was stolen from me because that's the kind of mom I would have been. But I'm grateful that I'm here and I'm available to them when they need somebody to talk to. If I didn't have health issues, I wouldn't be making videos. I wouldn't be communicating with people all over the world. I wouldn't have met any of you. And I feel connected. I feel like we have a wonderful group of women. I'm so grateful. That's what I asked for and I got it. I'm sorry I rambled. I hope that that's okay. <laughs> I just want you to all see the positive in everything. Sometimes it's really hard. Allow yourself to be sad. Allow yourself to be scared a little bit. Allow yourself to be angry. Recognize it and move past it and try to understand that people are just doing the best that they can for what they know and forgive them if they make mistakes. And if you keep all that in mind, 2024 will be a wonderful year for you too. These are the thoughts that I have when I'm trying to sleep at night. <laughs> no wonder I can't sleep. Okay, let's review the makeup. I love everything except for my broken blush, but I love the color and I love the formula. I just have to return that, I think. Let me know if you've tried any of these products before. What are your goals for 2024? Are you like me and you just wanna see the positive and try hard to see the positive? Or is that something that you wanna work on in 2024? If you've made it this far, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Oh yeah, and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave. Share with all your friends and I will see you later. Bye.